Last year the Razer phone was the gaming phone, now it's the ultimate gaming phone. Let me just say that this month of October is absolutely crazy. We have what, the Google Pixel 3, iPhone XR, OnePlus 6, the Razer phone, and plus we already had the Amazon announcement, the Google announcement, we might have a brand new iPad coming at the later this year, so there's a lot of tech in this month. I'm sure not complaining with all this tech, it's all so lovely. Before we think that the Razer Phone 2 is good or bad, let's just have the mindset that it's a gaming phone. It's guided toward the gaming audience for mobile gamers. You would be surprised on how much the mobile gaming space has grown over the past three years, especially over the, just the past one year with the PUBG Mobile and Fortnite now and mobile and it's cross-platform. Mobile gaming is a pretty big thing. It's not the top thing, PC and consoles have that, but mobile gaming is still up there. A lot of people do it, a lot. Last year with the first generation Razer phone, I'll admit it for all of us, it was kind of a disappointment. And I can't put that on Razer because it was their first ever phone. They're used to making headphones, mouses, keyboards, PCs. PCs, not phones. Now with the Razer Phone 2, I'm just gonna call it Razer 2 from now on because saying Razer Phone 2 is kind of a little annoying, but the Razer 2, now that it's come out, Razer knows how to make a phone now after the first generation. They've improved on a lot of stuff, a lot. Let's get to the basics of the Razer 2, and this is still the only smartphone on the market that has an 120 hertz refresh rate display. The only other type of device with 120 hertz refresh rate display is the iPad Pro, but no other smartphone has it. I'm kind of waiting for more smartphone makers there come and have that feature. Because just like I said yesterday, that 120 hertz refresh rate, which is on the Razer 2, is absolutely like butter. It's like just, just turning through butter on your phone. Oh, so, so good. But the Razer 2 is running on the Snapdragon 845 processor with a, get ready for it, 4,000 milliamp battery. That battery is beefy. And of course, that's gonna cater to gamers who game a lot. And on the back of the phone, we see a dual camera with the LED flash and of course glass on the back, which I'm gonna talk about in just a few seconds. And on the front of the phone, we see that 120 Hertz refresh rate display and of course speakers on the top and bottom. I'm not gonna discredit the Razer Phone 2 for having those bezels because they're both really, really functional with having the loudest stereo speakers you'll ever find in any smartphone. And if you only care about stereo speakers, well, you could get the first version because Razer didn't really upgrade the stereo speakers, but everything else got to upgrade and here Years, just getting ready for that. First talking about that display and the headlining feature is of course that 120 Hertz refresh rate, but it's also now 50% brighter and it's of course still an LCD. It's got bezels on the top and bottom but with that 5.7 inch 1440p display, you're not gonna be complaining about that too much. And besides, there's another functionality to having those bezels on the top side. Let's say someone is gaming on the smartphone, they wanna rest their thumbs on the side. So that's what the bezels allow you to do because if it was screen, you wouldn't be messing up the game. As of this moment, we're starting to get the idea of how this is catering to mobile gamers. We got the 120 hertz refresh rate display, we got that huge beefy battery, we got those stereo sound to just immerse yourself in the game. A lot of features so far and it gets better. When we flip the phone around, we find ourselves looking at a dual camera system and this dual camera system is set up as a wide angle and get ready for it, a telephoto. The camera is still by far the only weakness of the Razer Phone 2, but it was even a bigger weakness on the first generation. At least Razer Phone vastly improved it, but it's of course not in at least like the top five smartphone cameras. You still gotta give it to the Pixel 3, Pixel 2, iPhone XS, iPhone X, Samsung S9, OnePlus, as many smartphone cameras above the Razer Phone. But don't get me wrong, this phone is catered to mobile gamers, and frankly, mobile gamers don't really care about photography and videography. And if you thought all of those features, which I've already said, justified the Razer Phone 2, get ready, because there's three more iconic ones. The first one is now that the Razer Phone is IP67 water resistance rated. This is, of course, now a flagship standard. And especially since you're paying $800 for this device, which I think is a pretty good deal, you're getting water resistance and you're getting wireless charging thanks to the glass on the back, which I've already previously mentioned. And, of course, Razer Phone is going to be releasing their own wireless wireless charger. I should really make a video on that soon because it seems like every single phone company is releasing their own wireless charger except for Apple because Apple just doesn't want to release air power. I'll probably make a video on that coming very soon. 
And the last feature that we can find on the Razer 2 is now on the back of the device where the Razer logo was on the first generation. It's now a Razer Chroma RGB lighting logo, which means if you're familiar with Razer, you could customize that back logo to over 16.8 million colors. Not so much for like the daily user, but for that try hard gamer, that's a that's perfect feature for you. Especially if you're a Razer loyalist, you're gonna love that feature because who doesn't love 16.8 million colors on the back of your phone? That's nice. The Razer Phone 2 is gonna come in two different colors, mirror black and satin black. It's also gonna have a USB cable on the bottom and yes, no headphone jack. We just gotta cry about that one, right? But I'd love to hear your opinion about the Razer Phone 2 in the comment section below. Make sure you like the video to make YouTube algorithm happy. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you tomorrow for the latest and greatest.